Hi and hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to my realm. I am playing on the Bedrock Edition, the Windows Edition of Minecraft. On a re realm I've created to play with my friends. And we played kind of a role play meaning that we have like our own big territory on which we build stuff and trade resources and help each other out but we all have our own territory and um, this is our mob grinder not the best not, not the most efficient one but gets the job done and uh, <clears throat> this is my territory all the way up to there where it, where you can see a fence and up the mountain it cuts the mountain in half and this side is mine the other side it's someone else's side and we ha we we kind of have a big big project involving this mountain okay and yeah this is my area and i i've divided it with this small and narrow river which i'm planning to to widen up a bit and this is someone else's territory as well we are playing like 11 or 12 people i believe we are in total this is someone else's territory and yeah we are we we have divided our uh, our, our map in big territories and we will we like to call them kingdoms and this is my base here I have bees this is my honeycomb production I still need to to go and look for those oh I need to look for natural spawned hives and yeah I've kind of took the hives from around here and I still need like 30 of them and uh, I'm planning on using the honeycomb block so I need lots of honey but I'll be I believe I I'll, I'll, I'll will be collecting collecting it um, manually and that's because we have more griefing off and uh, I don't know if the observers are will be able to detect that the beehive is full yeah so those are some basic villager like farms for every crop and uh, this is my monster chest it, this is by far my uh, my biggest monster chest with a big super smelter for now i've been cooking some items it's it's not the best but if i need to to cook big big numbers of items i can do it this is my log collection tree related stuff with leaves i'm planning on uh, building custom trees this is empty this is the food chest wool chest this one is empty for now this chest and this one is kind of a dump chest i come and dump items in them uh, these are backup tools kind of full enchanting those pickaxes still in mending but uh, yeah they are here for backup those ones were uh, ready during an uh, end raid where i when i went uh, looking for shulkers hey sir what do you have for me today nothing useful i'm looking for small drip leaves to buy from those uh, traders wandering traders okay this is the like the valuable chest 
these those are the valuables i have like the you see, like you see here i also have those smithing templates okay these those are uh enchanting book enchanted books that i've uh, traded with villagers do i have yes i do have enough levels now they are fully enchanted good good okay this is like the rocket related stuff um some redstone related ones these those are like some exo exotic stuff sorry and uh, yeah blocks building blocks and dirt blocks and those are full circle box circle boxes i plan on using these pack ties in a future project those are farm related related uh, uh, chests and i wanna farm a bit the brown mushroom as well i i've created all those patterns and some of them i have in more because I I found them in end. Yeah, I have an uh, auto um, chicken cooker, auto chicken farm, and I've taken it down because I have enough, more than enough uh, food for myself. Those ones are, are empty. Uh, these books, I've got them from an end city, from an end uh, dungeon, portal dungeon. Um, those one I've been using to to create street lamps, uh, fishing related stuff. Yeah, and this is my uh, monster chest. Up there is a small um, iron farm. You you saw me collecting the iron, and um, yeah, but we don't have big and uh, impressive. Uh, uh farms but uh, they get the job done and we need more items let's say i need more iron for a project i just afk overnight and it's usually enough here those those chests are uh, some of them are full still i've emptied some of them i've moved the resources in uh, in uh, shelter boxes yeah and uh, on this mountain i want to empty it out to i want to flatten it and uh, i don't think i will be doing the entire mountain just this part in these areas here I want to to carve the mountain and build like a huge um, dragon fossil, like a big big dragon skull with his spine and his ribs showing. I think it will be a, a an awesome looking project. It's a big one, of course, but uh, it's uh, it's involving all the the real members everyone came and uh carved a bit and uh, whoever came and dug something took all the resources yeah this is this area here will become sort of a village or a small town and will be called called at least for now it's called elysium grove and this path you see here it's uh, it's um, going to the world capital to prime city it's called and this is this will become the island where the city will be and why do i call it an, an island because here as you can see these uh, area have been dug up it's dug up by hand and here from this side 
to this side right here I will be creating a river separating this land from the other land from the continent basically yeah for now I've carved only two or three levels but I will be doing more of them and um, yeah the town will be having winding paths you can sort of see them already those houses right here are um, librarian houses here I traded emeralds for enchanting books here I've been curing and uh, searching for books on librarian villagers and uh, on this uh, here I've got them all placed in individually in their homes they're not finished as I plan on, on using colored terracotta for uh, for their homes but yeah all the houses are the same and uh, yeah I'm looking for uh, cheaper and cheaper enchantments and uh, let's say here I believe I believe I have no this one is looting I have I had um, I'm breaking three you can see now it costs only 11 emeralds I I've had the first I'm breaking librarian um, ask for 30 emerald, emeralds I believe and I've got it for only 11 now and uh, yeah I'm looking for cheaper and cheaper enchanting book enchanted books and when I found a cheaper one I replace the old trader in this area right here I dug up all this land you see from that river there's a river right there all the way up to all the way up to this sea I dug it like four blocks down up to level 59 from uh, 63 yeah and uh, regarding the the city this area will become in this area right here on this part of this small island will be a lighthouse a big lighthouse and um, on the other side on this side of the island will i will move this portal and i will have a, a big portal dedicated for for nether travel nether travel i will be removing the old houses from here from this side of the village i will widen up the river in this area right here i will have um some docks and i will build some ships or i hope i'm not saying it wrong those horses here are not despawning because i tamed them i want to to have a horse shop for the entire realm and uh, yeah this island right here was flattened by me by hand oh my god digging every block you can see i widened this river i'm and uh, on this side of the town i will have the fisherman huts right here on the edge of the land you haven't been tamed i'm curious yeah this is my shulker box it's a precious one it's my precious it's medium it's a medium to worse horse i want new ones that's the reason i killed this one i want to for new horses to be able to spawn uh those tridents are fully enchanted as you can see fully enchanted enchanted fishing rod rod this sword it's made for killing spiders because i have a 
spider spawner uh backup actually no they are not backup they are um as you can see this shovel it's uh it's enchanted with, with silk touch the other one doesn't have silk touch uh, this axe has fortune the other one has silk touch the same thing for the pickaxes uh the bow this one has uh, mending the other one has infinity this is my chest plate uh my banner my banners because as as i said we are playing sort of role playing on this realm and uh i've chosen my those designs to be my banners i am uh, i'm like a warden i'm like the the realms warden um yeah this conduit i'm using with it i'm using it when i'm working underwater uh some iron and diamonds because i need it f from time to time and yeah this is my uh my like i've named it enchanted box because everything it's fully enchanted it's like a utility box so yeah this big huge island will become um the prime city the world capital with uh, with this here this building being the future like castle in which i plan to to create a big big map, map room and uh, i think i'll have the map up here so it will be visible for everyone in this area on in this part of the island in this huge area right here um, we leave the farmers and uh, speaking earlier of horses those ones I've been collecting collecting they are uh, good jumpers and uh, they have good speeds as well and uh, this big wolf pack you see here I've uh, tamed them uh, during the deforestation of this area here was a forest I cut all the trees down uh, I, I've cut all the trees but those three ones and those four big ones because I'm planning either uh, growing those big trees or doing some cu custom trees uh, that's the reason you saw all those leaves and shulker boxes full of leaves in my chest mon monster uh, back at the Elysium Grove but back at the at my original uh, base this this is actually the spawn point of the world and my base as everyone went uh, in their direction i've kind of stayed here and uh, transformed this land and and then i've expanded my land up to prime city yeah uh, some basic farms here I'm, I'm planning to to divide the ship to have like every color have its own building as i said in the beginning we have more griefing off and i don't want to turn it on because uh, we've turned the more more griefing off for a reason as younger people are playing on this realm and creepers are spawning a lot a lot more than usual as i've seen uh, compared to other single player worlds and yeah i'm planning to build uh, uh, each color each ship each world color a uh, house with its own dedicated dedicated uh, ship uh, and uh, just share them by hand that's why the brown ship are separated from the black ones and from the white ones i will be moving them with uh, their according um, house color i will be removing this house from here and uh, i'll keep this one and just build a pen at the back of the house i believe i will be moving this one down in the valley either in that direction or 
down there there in that pen I have rabbits and uh, I'm planning on building a big fence to enclose this area in the future let me sleep through this night and uh, I'm planning on using this back ties to kind of make like a metro system and build a station here for this Elysium Grove for this base for this city however you want to call it and going in a straight line up to uh, all the way up to Prime City and back to my my friend's base in that direction and I believe uh, the station will be if I'm not mistaken although it's not uh, final um, like the metro the, the metro station I, I haven't landed on a, on a place to put it but I believe I will be putting it underground in this area so it be ex easy easy accessible from this from his bases as well and because he can uh, come uh, over the bridge right there and then and then uh, go down I have this area in this area was a ravine and I've covered it and I've created sort of a tunnel and I'm planning on using this to go even deeper underground because here it's it's empty in this area and I'm planning on uh, on using all the space here to build my metro station yeah and then branch off in di different directions to everybody else's base which I'm gonna tour them up a little this one is an, a big one here the, the owner of this um, territory worked a lot of on on his land and uh, as you can see here are multiple buildings including some animals and a small farm that's the entrance where that cobblestone is it's the entrance to a, a double spawner a zombie and a spider one um here it's someone else's territory it's divided by this river and in this area it's someone else uh, building someone else's kingdom with some farms and some plans for a big big castle right here this area right here this beach area sand area will become uh, water will be an access river here is an, uh, someone else's base uh, people have been working more or less on their bases this one the owner the owner of this base um, did a lot of exploration in the in the nether in the nether and in the end and that's why you see it's just a small base it's not as big as mine and uh, yeah that's the reason he's like an explorer but this is not the only base as he owns a village as well this is his territory still all the way up to to there in the distance and he does have everybody well not everybody there's only one person who currently doesn't own a village yeah this is the this is the village you know uh, this one owns and uh, started building houses in a, in a modern and modern style currently he's done two houses and started building a wall yeah basic interior nothing crazy and this way uh, this wall separates 
the, the that territory from this territory and here it's uh, uh, less work done because the the owner the owner of this land uh, haven't been on that much this is a gift from me um, down here further uh, there is someone else's territory this river kind of separates it uh, that kingdom from this kingdom well it's improper ki uh, to say kingdom but it will be at one point hopefully and uh, yeah this one owns this part of the village as you can see it's crossed that this village it's crossed by this river and we are using the rivers to to kind of have a natural uh, border for uh, everyone's uh, territory and this village happens to be split in two by this river so this uh, this player owns this part of the village basically those two houses and that player owns uh, the rest of the village yeah and uh, those are the players from this side of the map um if we were to look at a map like the like the the world map uh those are um east from my base from my territory those are the players that went in this direction and i'll go uh, uh, and show you the other side the players that went in that went west basically yeah as i said i'm sharing this mountain as this is my territory here all the way up to this mountain and i'm i'm currently uh sharing it like half the mountain on its length the left side is mine the right side it's this player's um, side of the mountain as you can see here big home some does have some animals does have a villager okay um this is his home a small garden right here some storage room uh, a failed attempt on having a, an automatic sugarcane farm and this is called like the every every territory as i said we kind of all play as kingdoms and uh, this particular kingdom it's called the industrial King kingdom and the reason it's only this much and not more is because the player haven't been on that much uh, lately so uh, yeah but he he will be playing in the future and building more contraptions and farms and things and uh, we have uh, one one more kingdom this way uh, which it's owned by two players in uh, in a cherry blossom I believe it's called this cherry biome and uh, as you will see it's got one of the base the best uh, places in the entire map basically out of all players i find this one this location to be almost the best one for uh, base building as you can see it's the players are uh, two girls playing it's very pink but it's very beautiful inside 
they, they started decorating so far it's the most decorated house home uh, on the entire realm as I uh, as I'm the, the the king I'm the owner of the, this realm and I don't have a home yet that's the reason I have that big big chest master because I was mostly here they have uh, some farms I've been mostly uh, dealing with prime city as uh, the world capital it needs building and we need it uh, librarians and uh, yeah I kind of had to do it being the owner of prime city being the ruler of prime city I have to build it and it uh, required a lot of work to flatten the entire island and uh, rebuild the houses and get the villagers and search from for all those books we have um, and looking for uh, smaller and smaller prices for everyone for basically for every librarian it's uh, it's been a lot of work to do and I'll show you sorry to wake you up this is efficiency 5 30 emeralds price but um, in the future if I find if I find uh, a cheaper one a cheaper efficiency 5 I will be replacing here it's an infinity book infinity librarian silk touch for 12 emeralds um, <clears throat> huh? Lure 3. I'm planning on making um, a dedicated librarian for every enchanted book. Huh? Looting 3 for 11. This is unbreaking 3 for 11 emeralds. Um, power 4 for 23. Here I have channeling for 11, 11 emeralds. Um, sharpness 5 for 18, and it started with 29 emeralds price, and then it got down to 23. Now it's 18, and uh, as I'm finding a cheaper and cheaper uh, villager, I am replacing the old one the old ones here let me kill you here I have royalty 3 for 12 emeralds um you sir are the the, the most important one mending for only 10 emeralds and it was like the first emerald price I've had it started with 10 emeralds. Here is protection 4 for 15 emeralds. Um, I haven't done all the buildings. Aqua affinity for 11. Yes, sir. I've only already seen you. And uh, yeah, as you can see, not all the houses are finished because I ran out of terracotta and I. Fortune 3 for 11 emeralds, as I said, looking for cheaper and cheaper um, enchanted books. And uh, speaking of terracotta, turns 3 for 20 emeralds, I didn't have time to go mine uh, some terracotta. We, ha we have a badlands, a big badlands uh, biome, but it's not close to me, and uh, people close, the players close to to the badlands biome uh, only brought me this much material and yeah for now it i don't need i'm not in a rush to to go mine terracotta as i don't have uh more new villagers but in the future either i'll buy the terracotta from uh, whoever goes and mines it or i'll go mine it myself so yeah this is la like the librarian district of the city. This is the farmer district, and it will 
be all the way up to this kind of this limit here like that all all this side the entire this side of the of the island will be farmer dedicated and i i have uh, one more kingdom to visit but the player haven't that done, have haven't done much at all so it's not worth and it's the further the furthest one uh, away it's the furthest away from everyone else and it's not worth the the trip there yeah those are my banners as i'm warden i don't know uh who has those banners although i think i believe i guess it's that player right there it's not visible from this side it's the explorer uh it's our explorer like it's like our christopher colombo or christopher columbus whatever his name was it's this pl i i believe it's this player's banners but i'm not sure i i will have to ask and uh, I chose the Warden as my banner because I think it's the strongest out of the Warden, the dra Dragon, the Ender Dragon and the Wither. I believe the Warden is the strongest one and I've made but I haven't... Ah, okay, I had... I had a... Um, a warden uh, outfit but I I won't I won't say to, to put it on right now I'll show you in a future episode when I'll have it ready I will create it as a separate character as uh, as this is the one I had before making the the warden one and uh, yeah those those uh, those clothes you see here uh, are from including the cape are from the 15th anniversary of uh, moyang and uh, yeah that's awesome so this is uh uh this is our realm and uh aside from this we've mostly i've explored the nether for um some uh, bastions and uh, I found some uh, I, I I found this uh, music disc I found some netherite scrap I've used I've used to uh, upgrade my tools and my also my armor and uh, yeah I will need to go again in the nether to, to upgrade more of my my tools, my to upgrade my backup tools to to netherite and to trade to other players on the map. And uh, yeah, this has been uh, our uh, our realm for now. I am planning on continuing playing, of course, for a long time. And uh, thank you for touring this map with me and uh, hopefully you, you've liked it and if you want to see more don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, yeah i'll be posting more in the future more videos so see you later bye bye